What are dead zones? Our cell phones communicate via radio waves, connecting calls using a system of base stations called cell phone sites that allow cell phones to communicate with each other and with other telecommunications networks. Cell site locations collectively establish wireless service providers' network coverage areas. The connection between a cell phone and the base station can be affected by many factors, such as distance between the two, whether any physical or topographical obstacles are in the way, and cases where large crowds are trying to connect to the same base station at the same time. Areas where you can't connect to a base station are called dead zones. Most wireless service providers offer network area coverage maps on their websites and in stores, though these maps usually carry disclaimers that they are for general information purposes and actual coverage may vary, based on the reasons mentioned earlier. Dead zones can occur even in areas that the coverage maps appear to show as covered. You can check independent consumer websites, which may help fill gaps in coverage information. If you're not able to send or receive a usable phone signal, roaming may occur automatically, or you may be able to turn it on manually. Instead of having a call blocked or dropped, your phone could use another provider's cell site, which may result in an additional cost to you. Your phone may or may not display an indicator when you're roaming. At the FCC, we're putting policies into place to help eliminate dead zones by permitting satellites and other technologies in places where there are no base stations or weak signals. These policies will support connectivity for everyone at all times, with the goal of putting an end to dead zones. <laughs>